Hey guys, just wanted to throw up a video on this EI dosing or estimative index dosing. Um, if you can find it, hopefully you can find it, uh, Aquatic Plant Central is where it's at. There's a good dosing guide. I'm sure it's probably just a link from somewhere else. Um, but uh, it's got all the measurements and everything you need to uh, to, to do the dosing and uh, it gives a really good description of how often and even has some extra little garbage down here on the bottom anyhow so that's what I'm, I'm trying to do on my uh, Iwagami grass uh, dwarf hair grass tank um, that article leads you to this page um, planetaquariumfertilizer.com uh, it's kind of a confusing page actually it doesn't really make it easy for you to find the products but uh, if you go to order now and then scroll down to dry fertilizers you will you'll find the elements or substances I'm not sure I'm never, never really was a good chemistry uh, person but if you scroll down here you will find um, here's the KH P204 uh, mono potassium phosphate, um, seven dollars for a pound, and they sell it by the pound. I'll show you what a pound is here in a second. Um, and then here is the KNO3 potassium nitrate, and uh, it says on here international customers consider buying calcium nitrate or potassium sulfate instead. I guess because of customs. But anyway, that is uh, <clears throat> $4 for a pound. Um, so I ended up getting one pound of each of those. And uh, I'm going to be using the 10 to 20 gallon um, dosing schedule. And uh, as you can see there, there's that. Uh, let's see. So anyway, that takes you into here with my uh, aquarium light that's off that you can't see the grass. Actually, you might be able to see. Might be able to see it in the dark. I never thought about running a video of that. But anyway, no, not so much. Anyhow, so I had the, the hardest time finding measuring uh, spoons locally here, but I kind of live in the country, so that may have had something to do with it. Uh, you need a, you need measuring spoons that go all the way down to uh, uh, 132, 132nd, I guess you could say. Um, because all of those measurements in there on that web page uh, are using those super super tiny spoons so anyway here's the uh, monopotassium phosphate or the P and uh, it came with a pound uh, I have a 29 gallon uh, tank over at my mother-in-law's and uh, I stole some out of this and put it in a ziploc bag over there to dose out of so it probably came with a little probably over twice as much as what you see in this bag here um, and here's the potassium nitrate or the N KNO3 it comes like this just like a powder it looks like salt or sugar um, this one is about the same same thing um, anyway back to the spoons I've already forgotten whether I told you this I got these on eBay um, they were kind of expensive for my taste but they came with a bunch of other spoons and other crap that I don't really need, or uh, cup measurements and crap that I don't really need. I just wanted the spoons. But I think I ended up paying 12 or $13 after shipping for these. You, you pretty much have to have these. So, um, also, um, for the micro, uh, uh, fertilizer, I've just been using Flourish. And, um, and if you don't know this already, people, if you're in the uh, United States, uh, in the, uh, I guess you would call it the medical or the beauty or the pharmacy area or department of Walmart, you can get a syringe and a little cap, this little rubber cap that goes on top of your bottle and keeps it sealed. And anyway, you can stick a syringe in there and pull your liquid out without making a mess and cross-contaminating tank water with you know with your chemicals uh, it's like two or three dollars it's over near like the baby section um, that's really kick-ass I would recommend getting that 
Um, so that's how I dose the uh, Flourish to go along with the uh, the dosing here because it says uh, you know for 10 to 20 gallon aquariums use one eighth teaspoon of the N three times a week which I have in those that spoon set and one thirty second teaspoon of KH 2PO4 P and then uh, two milliliters of trace elements three times a week and a 50 percent water change per week and uh, like I was saying the kit comes with these little syringes this it comes with a syringe the lid and then some kind of other little scoop measurement thing which I usually just throw the scoop thing away and it's like two dollars um, so anyway that's how I do it uh, don't know if it's gonna work very well but clearly if that article's been on the, the website for quite some time it has to work so I just wanted to show people that don't understand EI dosing uh, this is this is the way I understand it, and it's the way I've been been doing it. So, anyway, hopefully you uh, learned something from this. See ya.